this could be the trading floor at a major Wall Street firm, but it isn't. This is where the traders of the future are trained, 30 miles outside of Wall Street at Adelphi University in Garden City, Long Island. Uh, you could research anything, you know, right now, you know, we're dealing with securities, you could look up the different bonds, you could look up the different uh, stocks, you know, what's going on in the market, different trends, um, you know, where you want to position yourself. Since I'd already had all the theoretical knowledge, putting it into practice and actually getting to navigate through different stocks and bonds and getting the information and actually recognizing what every terminology was, that was really different and it was more informative. Like when I walk by, it looks, it looks like a trading room that you would see um, in, in, a, in, a, in the corporate world. They're really life skills and you know, although they're very financial specific, they are things that they're going to have to know uh, for their own uh, well-being for the rest of their lives. Adelphi is the latest in a growing pack of business schools to open mock trading floors in recent years. In the mid-1990s, there were only three business schools with mock trading floors. Today, there are more than 200. These classrooms come with all of the trappings of a modern trading floor, from stock tickers to Bloomberg terminals to real-time market data. According to one former trader, the only thing missing here is the mess. Trading rooms are um, very different places, and um, you know to say that uh, they bear a lot of resemblance to uh, sports locker rooms is, is probably not giving sports locker rooms their due, but. Uh, it's a, a little bit more civilized place, uh, and there's no phones to crash and bang, which uh, is a, the secret to, I always found to being a good trader. George Washington University even goes so far as to let students trade using real money. The student fund started with a $1 million gift. We don't have a final because my class is, is about practical investment. You can't test that. You have to do it. So we make them do it. We're trying to teach a little bit more of the long-term buy and hold investing because um, our theory is if you master that detailed analysis, it's much easier than to move into you know, managing earnings, managing investments, and swinging by quarter or changing sector rotation and stuff like that throughout the year. Most importantly, it gives prospective traders hands-on experience that they can point to when looking for a job. That is something that employers notice. You know, once you sort of know how to operate a, uh, how to operate a Bloomberg terminal and know what kind of questions to ask and how things get done on it. Um, it puts you ahead of other, you know, other applicants. For students wanting a Wall Street career, being able to learn the tools of the trade isn't unique anymore. It is business as usual. I'm Ben Protest for Dealbook at the New York Times.